Thank you for coming out today because this is a historical moment because in a uh, Vietnamese American community we don't have anything the name called like a little Saigon and then you know what this um, the post office we just gonna change the name to little Saigon <laughs> Vietnam War Veterans Memorial Post Office because we want to recognize Vietnamese American community and this is one of the biggest Vietnamese community outside of Vietnam and then plus we have to recognize that you know what over 800,000 people came to this country you know try to look for freedom they are both people so we really have to recognize Vietnamese American community for that and at the same time Vietnamese you know uh, the veterans, American veterans that who tried to that make sure that keep the freedom. It didn't happen, but you know what, they worked so hard. So this name change means a lot. In Congress, 100% of the people voted, and I'm very, very happy that, you know what, this post office is going to do a name change. Um, thưa nghị sĩ Chen Đức Nguyễn, thưa kính chào quý vị, rất là hân hạnh cho Chen tới đây bữa nay uh, là ngày vui mừng của cộng đồng chúng ta có một cái bưu điện chính thức một cái tên của Little Sài Gòn của chúng ta ở bưu điện này là thưa quý vị là bưu điện của của liên bang, so, ở trong nước Hoa Kỳ cái này là cái bưu điện đầu tiên, uh, so rất là hân hạnh và liên bang uh, biết uh, cộng đồng chúng ta rất là quan trọng và nổ quan trọng cho cộng đồng và không phải chỉ cộng đồng không cái sự contribution của người Việt Nam chúng ta trong nước Mỹ và trong tiểu bang Cali rất là quan trọng so chúng tôi một lần nữa rất là hân hạnh để tới đây bên này. Um, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, I know that we have a little tiny space, but this is a great big project. So we're just going to um, introduce all the elected officials that we have in the um, area today. First, we do have our very own Congresswoman Michelle Steele. We have State Senator Janet Nguyen, <laughs> Assemblymember Tree Ta, <laughs> former Assemblymember Tyler Deep. <laughs> From the City of Westminster, we have Mayor Chi Charlie Nguyen, <laughs> Vice Mayor Kimberly Ho, <laughs> Councilmember Nam Quan Nguyen. Fountain Valley, we have Vice Mayor Ted Bowie. And then from the city of Garden Grove, we have Garden Grove Unified School District Board Member Lon Kwok Nguyen. And then if I can invite Mayor Chi Charlie Nguyen to go ahead and start something. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Chi Charlie Nguyen, I'm Mayor for the City of Westminster. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I would like to thank. Um, I want to thank everyone to take your time. Uh, I know it's a busy morning, but you are out here um, uh, with us. So, uh, on behalf of the Congresswoman Michelle uh, Steele, we'd like to thank you for your time. Um, you know that we are standing right in the heart of near Little Saigon, and there is nothing that I can say more excited at than saying that uh, it happened right here. Uh, in the city of Westminster, and uh, I know that uh, uh, Congresswoman Michelle Steele have been fighting hard for the residents here in, the, the, in her district. But not only in her district, but specific, uh, specifically in the city of Westminster. So I'm here today with her and uh, along with the elected official and along with you, uh, and I want to thank her for her dedication, her effort. Uh, that's put forward to this. I know it's a hard fight, but she, she did it. 
So um, right now it's already passed uh, in the, the, set, uh, the House of uh, and then uh, the next step is going to be uh, in the Senate. So uh, again, thank you very much for her effort. Why don't we put our hands together to thank her for uh, what her team for. Next, I would like to introduce uh, the most um, important uh, the, the VIP for today. Uh, that is uh, my Congresswoman Michelle T. Thank you for all coming today. I just want to be grateful to, you know, especially for Vietnam for serving our veterans. That you know, we have you here. Could you raise your hands? And then other people are my uh, the uh, veterans advisory group members, and we try to work together, to make sure that we're gonna do the better things. Because since they actually fought for and they defended, you know, our freedom. We really have to support them. After, especially those veterans got out of their you know, the services, they're having a very tough time. I have a couple bills for veterans, housing bills, and actually they can need what to do, and that's the way we work together. So I'm just so grateful here, and I have all these elected officials. You know, Mayor Kelly Chi, Senator uh, Janet Newman, This is actually his issue. This is the historical day because, you know what, we try to actually recognize, I represent the most Vietnamese outside of Vietnam, and this is a great deal. And when I introduced this bill, actually, nobody said no. This is all yes on the floor. 100% of the people, all the members of Congress voted. I'm so proud of it. This is a great deal because we call this Little Saigon means a lot because more than 800,000 people found the freedom and coming through the ocean came to this country. But during that, we lost a lot of other members too. And then all the Vietnam veterans, they really fought for freedom. And they are the ones, they were very young at that time, but they knew that, you know what, Vietnam needs freedom there, so they really fought for it. So I, from my heart, thank you so much. But you know what, Vietnam is American community, not just post office name change, but we all work hard. Look at these elected ones. They are in mainstream, most patriotic community ever. And I'm just so proud to be part of just a little bit. Post office name change is the toughest one because we have 52 members in Congress. You need all 52 sign up to it first, and then you have to go through the committee and then come down to the floor. But you know what? Nobody really objected. It means that they all know they love Vietnamese American community, and they all know Vietnam War veterans, and they all know they love veterans as they are because they've been served for our country. So I am just so grateful to be here with everybody. And I am, you know, I don't know how happy I am, but you know what, I'm gonna watch it since everybody voted. This is gonna be really good deal. Let's work together so our Vietnamese American community is gonna be prosperous. So thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Historic moment for our community. I want to thank Congress when we sell steel 
for honoring the sacrifices of 8,000 American soldiers who fought for freedom during the Vietnam War. And also to honor the Vietnamese community who came here for freedom. I want to thank her for her dedication, for her fighting for freedom, and to bring all of us together. I want to thank all the veterans who are here today. Thank you so much, sir, for your sacrifices for our freedom. This is amazing. Congress, woman Michelle Steele, bring all of us together. She is our voice in Congress. She's been fighting for us for the last four years. I want to thank members of the community. I want to thank all elected officials for being here. We all work together and we all make a difference for the community, for the state, and for the nation. Thank you so much. We want to express our appreciation to Congresswoman Michelle Steele and her staff for allowing us to lend our support to this important bill. The Vietnam Veterans of America are very well known on the Hill. They have a history of almost 50 years of supporting legislation for veterans and their families. Today, this post office now becomes a reminder of the bravery and the sacrifice many of our brothers and sisters made so that everyone will know that freedom is not free. May our legacy continue and inspire future generations. Thank you. Thank you. À, và buổi sáng hôm nay chúng tôi rất là cảm ơn bà Dương Biểu Michelle Steele à, là một cái người mà đã đi sát cánh với lại cộng đồng của chúng ta lắng nghe cái nguyện vọng của đồng cộng đồng của chúng ta và à, đây là một trong những cái điều mong muốn của cộng đồng người Việt của chúng ta mà chỉ có bà Dương Biểu Michelle Steele trong một cái thời gian rất là ngắn mà bà ta đã à, coi như là vận động được Quốc hội của Hoa Kỳ thông qua cái việc đổi tên cái bưu điện này là bưu điện uh, US Post Office thành ra là Little Saigon uh, Veteran Memorial War uh, Thank you again Cảm ơn quý vị